He felt like Tarzan. Not a fun way to die. Even if he survived, no one would write ballads about the fox whose knees ached forever, would they? Not unless he paid for it. And he hated paying for publicity. He needed some way to break the ice with this wall, so to speak. All this ore and essence. Oh, right. Probably a sword. Chilling, walking through the living mountains. There was always noise up ahead. Insects, birds, the croak and flutter of ravens arranging ambushes. But close by, there was only the breeze and the trickle of melting snow. As if every living thing was holding its breath for his poisonous burden to move on. bloodstains out of his tunic. really didn't have much in the way of safety features, did it?
Nada hoped his mother wasn't. Calaveras was a renowned scientist before he was forced into exile. Now he was practically the last scientist. And he was Renato's last hope. The core! Splendid! croaked Calaveras. Where's the armature? Right, I was kind of hoping you wouldn't need it. <laughs> no, I don't. It's just a professional interest. We've got much better prismatics than the old TE ever did. So Calaveras was an arcane engineer. He fussed at the core all day. He wrapped it with silver chains, and in front of it, he placed a huge round ruby so that it looked like a monstrous floating eye. Ah, so, what is it? Yeah, I call it the oculum. It's my very first death ray. And it won't poison me? Oh, no, 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 it's completely safe now. Anything I should watch out for? Yeah, try to avoid pointing at any mirrors. As he loaded the oculum onto the Farfarer, Bernardo was a little concerned about Calaveras. People who were utterly sure of themselves, he had found, were either experts or horribly wrong. Or both. But Renardo only needed to fire the oculum once. He only needed to destroy one ship. The Emperor's ship. And the war was over. Renardo plunged into the Imperial fleet. He felt the oculum humming. He no longer felt sick. This was going to be fun. Or at least, it was going to be over. Renato resisted the temptation to fire the oculum until the time came. He could sense its arcane energies yearning to escape the sage's wrappings. But it wasn't eating him alive. So that was a plus. He felt good about himself. He'd saved a friend, he'd helped the rebels, he'd relied on himself, but he'd listened to others. He felt like the right sort of hero. Wise, yet decisive. Calaveras had been so sure it would work. Maybe he could fire it just a few times. No harm in that, right? But only when he absolutely needed to. 